If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please subscribe to support the channel. Think of all the cool things you could do with a UV light and add one more to that, finding bugs in the dark. That's right, some invertebrates completely transform under ultraviolet light and display a mesmerizing glow. On a unique project to discover which invertebrates glow, extremely talented photographer Nikki Bay organized a UV photo shoot. Let's see the results. First up in one of the most dangerous on our list is the thick-tailed scorpion. It's a fairly common practice to use ultraviolet light to find scorpions in the dark. They are generally nocturnal, meaning all the hunting and feeding happens at night, so they spend most of the day hiding under rocks, making them almost impossible to find. This particular scorpion is fairly large, reaching on average 12 centimeters in length. Its venom is lethal to their prey as well as to humans. Interestingly, scorpion babies known as scorplings don't glow in UV light until they reach adulthood. Even though they're often mistaken for spiders, harvestmen are very different in quite a few ways. They are not venomous and do not have a silk gland, therefore cannot produce webs. They also have only one pair of eyes as opposed to eight. Since they lack venom glands, their defense mechanism is a scent gland, which secretes a malodorous fluid when distributed. Fun fact! Their legs have been known to continue twitching for up to an hour after being detached from their bodies, which is viewed by scientists as an evolutionary trait with the purpose of keeping predators distracted while they attempt an escape. Probably the most particular looking one on the list, the bird dung spider derives its name from mimicking bear droppings to avoid predators. This spider is nocturnal, and in order to feed, it emits a malodorous pheromone to attract its prey. It's understandable if you've lost your appetite seeing a raw picture of this intriguing arthropod, but seeing it glow in the UV light makes it resemble a rare precious blue gem. A curious fact is that spiders have a broader color spectrum than humans, meaning that they can see ultraviolet wavelengths. The permanently grumpy look makes the ochre-faced spider a fierce hunter. It has a particularly unusual way of catching its prey, making use of its extremely long front legs and holding a very stretchy web that looks like a tiny shopping bag when relaxed. As insects pass by, the spider attempts to catch them in its web. Under UV light, its frontal large black eyes suddenly transform into an icy cold and creepy stare that gives you the chills. Somewhat odd looking and very difficult to spot when in trees, the bark spider's main defense mechanism is, as you may have guessed, its ability to camouflage perfectly in its surroundings. Its peculiar body shape and texture really make it seem like it may be hosting its own micro ecosystem. The name naturally comes from its protuberances, which resemble the bark of a tree. The females have fairly large bodies, reaching a size of 3 cm in length compared to the tiny males of the species, which measure approximately half a centimeter. The best way of getting this itsy bitsy spider out of hiding is of course with the help of some UV light, which will make its thorny camouflage back pop out in a beautiful blue colouring. The millipede. The term millipede comes from Latin, literally translating to a thousand feet, however none of the 12,000 species of millipedes have been found to have a thousand, but the greatest known record is 750. The reproduction is unlike any other arthropod with the male using a pair of its many legs to fertilize the female. Not all millipedes glow in the UV light as observed by photographer Nikki Bay, but the ones that do tend to have brighter glowing legs than the rest of their body. Net-winged beetles typically have short adult lives in which they feed on flowers or don't feed at all. In adulthood, they're equipped with bright red colored wings which warn predators that they're extremely toxic to ingest. Their larvae can be found under tree barks or in leaves. They have an extremely deep blue glow when hit by UV light, displaying almost a psychedelic-like effect. As cute as they are, caterpillars are actually voracious feeders and therefore agricultural pests. Some caterpillars can inflict serious injuries to humans and in some cases they can be fatal. Depending on the season in which they hatch, they can change colouring. Spring caterpillars are bright green and summer ones are dark coloured due to their diet. Some even grow spikes or thorns that resemble certain plant parts to keep predators away. In places such as South Africa and China, caterpillars are a source of nourishment, with silkworms being considered a delicacy in the latter. The UV light makes this entire caterpillar's body glow in a multitude of mesmerizing colors, ranging from bright green to deep blue and even violet. Ever heard the phrase the captain goes down with the ship? Scale insects quite literally do. Female scale insects lag legs completely and are immobile for their entire life. They are sometimes carried around by air currents and feed on the plant they land on. Being unable to move themselves, if the plant dies, so do they. 
Observed under a UV light, these loyal little bugs look spectacular, closely resembling an X-ray of a human brain. The tortoise beetle These beetles are very common and love sweet potato crops and coffee. They are very destructive to their host plant and therefore considered a pest. The name comes from their sideways extensions, which makes them resemble a tortoise. The tropical variant has stunning show colouring, which is why it is used for making jewellery. What really steals the show in these common bugs are the wings or elytra, which glow an electric blue when under the UV light. If you want to see more videos like this one, remember to like and subscribe to get smart. Thanks for watching!